welcome everyone to the DEF CON diversity panel. Nobody. Wow. All right. <laughs> welcome everybody to DEF CON 101, the panel. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the level of hate that was just exposed right there. Um, so, how many people have never been to DEF CON before? Raise your hands. Oh, wow. wow. All the noobs. Welcome. It is actually super exciting to see that many people. You know, every year DEF CON grows. I've been coming for since 2002, coming to DEF CON, parentheses, since 2002, <laughs> since we're not doing phrasing today. Um, and uh, it, every year it gets better. About a, uh, a decade ago, HiWiz started DEF CON 101 as a way to kind of introduce people to DEF CON and teach them you know, uh, what to expect. So first, welcome to De Las Vegas. Please pace yourselves. That squirrel is for you, Jericho. Number one. <laughs> oh, there's more. <laughs> I don't know how many middle fingers you have. Um, seriously, for those of you who've never been to De uh, Las Vegas before, uh, it can be a little bit overwhelming. It, it's very shiny, very distracting. Um, so definitely pace yourselves. DEF CON is a few days, so you don't want to shoot your wad on the first day. All right. Not advancing. There we go. Look, and the, I, this is what I needed anyway. I needed Clippy. Um, so we're going to talk about being a noob. Everybody's a noob at something. We're all noobs. We, we all consider ourselves noobs and embrace that. Um, noob has had a uh, bad connotation for a long time. But this is one of those instances where uh, if you're a noob, that's OK. Because you shouldn't DGAF. Don't give a fuck. If you're a noob, that just means that you will have an opportunity to learn, and you should take that opportunity to learn. So we're going to talk about the countdown for surviving DEF CON. Is anybody here familiar with this countdown? <laughs> one or two people? Yep, three, two, one. So seriously, take it seriously. Three, get at least three hours sleep a night. My first DEF CON, I spent... Uh, 16 hours a day in a K, uh, CTF. The second year I was here, they decided that the CTF was going to run 24 hours a day. Um, and I will tell you from experience that it's not fun when you try to fly back to the East Coast and try to adjust your time. Eat at least two meals a day. For those of you who ha may have low blood sugar problems or high blood sugar problems, make sure that you eat healthy meals a day. They offer healthy meals in the chill out room. And, for God's sake, please bathe at least once a day. It is the desert, and you are going to be hot. And if you go outside, you're going to sweat. You're going to sweat in the hallways. I was sweating just getting here. So it's kind of, kind of challenging. So please, wash your hands, too. I was just in the bathroom, walked out of the bathroom. After washing my hands, I watched two people walk right out of the bathroom. Just go to the bathroom, walk right out. Please. I, you know, I'm not interested in anybody that may have stinky pee hands. So, again, this is the desert. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Thank you for this slide. Um, if your pee is the last color on the right, You are in trouble. There is an emergency care, not too far, urgent care, not too far from here. So getting back to washing your hands. Um, how many people have been to DEF CON before? How many have been to DEF CON before and then have been, had a horrible disease afterwards? Or during. Or during. Romer, last year. Um, you know, fist your friends. Fist them often.
it's actually kind of funny. I have this little square up there about how um, fisting is 90% less likely to relay germs, which is kind of funny, you know, because I also see people when they fist the door to open the bathroom door. Anyway, but please make sure that you uh, practice good hygiene. So this is Dick. Dick's a hacker. Can you tell Dick's a hacker? He's got a bad attitude. Might be Jericho under that ski mask. <laughs> um, basically, I'm going to give you guys some rules, some, some things that I think are basic guidelines that you should focus on and try to um, make your DEF CON experience a little bit better. So the, the first one, here are the basics. Hold the door open. Don't let a door close on somebody. Uh, they, it's just plain rude. Um, and keep your head up. I know that a lot of you uh, would be shocked to know that there are a lot of people walking around on their phones, not paying attention. In fact, they probably walk right into you. So pay attention as well. Keep your head up, pay attention, and don't block the hallway. The hallway is not the place to hold a family reunion. If you run into somebody that you haven't seen in a long time and you wanna have a conversation with them, take it off to the side. These hallways are tiny, so please make, try and make it a little bit easier for people. Do not, I repeat, do not be an asshat. Don't ruin people's time. You're here at DEF CON to learn. You're here at DEF CON to have a good time. And DEF CON is both of those things. It is fun and educational. But there are going to be those people on occasion that are going to um, ruin it for everybody. If you see somebody harassing somebody, speak up. Or if you're not comfortable speaking up, grab one of our red shirt goons. If you see somebody that is um, just straight up being drunk and belligerent, same thing. Um, these are not circumstances where you need to deal with it. You don't want it to ruin other people's time, and nobody should just turn a blind eye to it. Please don't heckle. You can heckle at this one. This is interactive. You can, if you want to say rude stuff, you can. These guys will shortly. Um, but please don't heckle the, the other speakers. Me. Excuse me, it's a DEF CON tradition to heckle. It really See? is. <laughs> Stadler and Waldorf. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Please don't heckle. <laughs> <laughs> if you disagree with something, speak with the speaker afterwards. Um, it, it, you might be surprised that, that you don't know something, uh, that that speaker may actually have information. and. You may learn something if you want to speak with that speaker afterwards, but just don't, please don't just scream in the middle of uh, any of anybody's talk. Not all hugs are accepted. So, see? I, I, will, I, I just wanted to point out that that's not 100% great advice. Um, Jericho, Jericho in particular. Well, I'm trying. fucking trying. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Heckling already. I know. For fuck's sake, you just had the rule on the screen. Um, but I will say, like, Jericho heckled us so much at a panel one time that we said fuck it and just brought him up and put him on the panel. So it's not, if you, may, if you want to be a speaker, maybe heckling is the way to go. It might be. <laughs> Give it a shot. See how, uh, how well that works out for you. My, my seat's available for $20. <laughs> Also, what else will you do for $20? Like, I think this is the first year that we've had those like monitors in the middle of the room. I looked up and like we see the back of it from up here. I'm like, why the fuck is this in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure that you guys are done. We can keep going. Okay. Sorry, Dad. All right. You may Carrying continue. on. Anyway, so um, please... Uh, you know, respect other people's space. If you know somebody and, and you, you hug them on a regular basis, obviously hug them. If you see somebody and this is the first time you've met them, you might want to reconsider. All right, phones and wireless. <laughs> Everybody's got a phone. So seriously, this is a hacker convention. Chances are you need to use your head. Disable your wireless if you need to. Please don't connect to his wireless. Um, <laughs> anyway, anybody, the, the, you hear the horror stories about, oh, you got to get a burner phone. 
burner phones still have wireless. If they're hooked up to all your apps and everything, it's still, it's still gonna mess you up. So use your head. Along with that, pictures. Everybody's phone has a camera. So you will be in a picture. Um, again, just take, take that into account. I can't tell you the number of times that I've just walked down the hall and watched people with their cameras up above their heads, or, or their phones up above their heads filming everything. So if you don't want to be in a picture, that's cool. You can put a hand over your face. You can buy one of those crazy IR uh, visors. Uh, Pyro had them last year. Um, or you could just simply say, uh, please delete that file. Or hack their phones and delete it. Fair <laughs> game. Another squirrel. Not everything is free. It was kind of funny this morning because I was watching that some people were walking around uh, and just sorting through boxes, and they're, that's not your stuff. Um, so if you see something, that doesn't mean that it's free. It doesn't mean that you can pick it up. So please um, make sure that just be a good citizen. I, that one, I can't really say too much about this. So who wants some free stuff? You want to do that now? Whoa, whoa! Uh, these will put an eye out, so cover your eyes when he throws. Throw it out. No way. All right, instead, we have lanyards. Yeah, these are okay. All of you guys in the front rows, We're gonna kill if, back if you, do you know who Gallagher is? <laughs> there, there will be more stuff thrown. Hey, can we throw more challenge coins? This, this kid something. Hey, hey, come here. <laughs> Pay attention, motherfucker. <laughs> Responsibly. <laughs> Drink responsibly, son. <coughs> I have these guys to mess things up. Just when, the, when things are getting boring. Okay, let's go back to uh, have a plan. Anybody was, that was in here before our talk heard about Hacker Tracker. And Hacker Tracker is an awesome pl uh, app. It's going to help you out. Also, um, try to plan, use your uh, programs, and try to identify where you want to be because you're not going to be able to be everywhere. So the source of knowledge, are they still called the source of knowledge, Nikita? I think they changed your name to the sound of knowledge now. All right, so they're the sound of knowledge. TSOK, it doesn't matter. Um, they're going to be uh, somewhere where you'll be able to vi uh, buy the videos. Um, so. Don't freak out if you can't make it to the next talk. Uh, it's going to be okay. You guys will all be okay. And there we go. I already blew it. We talked about Hacker Tracker. Nice job, Mike. Premature. Yep. Sorry. Premature. <laughs> sorry. All right. So the talks. There are a lot of really good talks. I am on the call for uh, Papers Review Board. I don't know who else wants to admit it, but if you see one of these orange badges, that's what that means. Um, we spent 800 hours. Wait, wait, isn't this the CFP review board? It is. I think every member of the panel is on the board. Yeah. Every member of the panel is on the board. Well, I didn't know if everybody wanted to admit it. I'm not. <laughs> not anymore. So we spent a lot of time. It's, a, it's essentially a half, a, a part-time job, and then it becomes a full-time job right before um, the uh, end of all the talks being accepted. Uh, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out which talks are going to be good, which talks are not. Uh, we get talks upwards of well beyond 550 talks that are submitted. 543. Was it? 543. 543. It was 551. Doesn't matter. He won the bet, so he's sticking with the number even though the number changed. There were talks. I thought I won. Oh, really? There were? No, no, okay. I, I, I won the bet. Because the talks were pulled? No, no, no. I, I, no, no, no. Honestly, honestly, because on Basecamp I created the post and then I changed your number. 
and I, that's how I won the bet. Ah, okay. <laughs> anyway, so um, we take a lot of pride in the talks. Hopefully, you guys are going to have a good time. Um, villages. There are, as you can see, quite a few villages, and villages have grown. Back up, Steph. If you attend a talk and you really like it or really dislike it, please give feedback. Yes. You, do you want me to give your email address? Yeah, highwiz at, <laughs> highwiz at gmail.com. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Talks <laughs> at defcon.org. Just email talks at defcon.org. Okay, lots of villages. Villages are awesome because you get, it goes beyond a talk. Villages actually give you an opportunity to get hands-on experience with a lot of the, um, uh, the different aspects. And I've highlighted a few here. Um, the ICS village. Um, they've grown, and this is an area of um, interest. If you're trying to figure out where you want to go in uh, computer security and hacking, uh, there is a dearth of, of people that can do, do ICS hacking, so you might want to consider that. We have the Blue Team Village, which is brand new this year. Uh, if you're thinking that you're defensive-minded, the Blue Team Village would be for you. Lockpick Village is always cool because that's an opportunity for people to learn how to pick locks. And who doesn't need to pick a lock every once in a while? Hmm? No, Sorry, that's, I was hearing whispering next to me. And then there's Soldering Skills Village, um, which probably will come in handy with these badges. In addition, there are workshops. These workshops are, are truly hands-on. Um, oftentimes, the workshops are filled up many, uh, well in advance. But this is something to look uh, for in the future. The workshops are just like the call for papers. We go through, how many of those do we have? 100 and something uh, submitted? Yeah, about, about that. 100 and something. Anyway, um, it's one of those opportunities for people to take, uh, sit down and actually learn cryptography. They can learn uh, blockchain, uh, many other buzz buzzwords. Um, and then you get an opportunity to actually do the work. Every single instructor um, actually does work, and they are all instructor-led labs. They are not lectures. On the other side of that, there are demo labs. Demo labs, we've got contests, we've got events. There is a lot of stuff that happens um, at DEF CON. That is why we are as big as we are. That is why we are across Las Vegas Boulevard because DEF CON is as big as it is. Um, quite honestly, there truly is too much for us to list uh, with regards to contests and, and events. Uh, for the demo labs, it's an opportunity to actually see some of these tools that people are releasing. Um, so, Iwas, did you have something you would like to, an, ad an additional event? Oh, the, the queer con stuff? Yeah. Yeah, if you, uh, anybody gay here? I'm being serious. Uh, I have three uh, queer con passes. If you want to, if someone wants to come up and get them, they'll get get you. Yeah, come on up. First three to make it. Yeah, first three. Start pushing. <laughs> Look, she even came with a rainbow on her oh, shirt. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Wait, 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 with the rainbow on the shirt. <laughs> oh, look at this. Wow. All right, Run I'm just throwing this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay, I can't I, throw. I'm glad you made the joke. Yes. <laughs> Here you go, consolation prize. Yes. All right, here's an area that, that um, it, everybody loves to take advantage of, swag and vendors. Vendors opens tomorrow, swag was open today. This is uh, where you get all your DEF CON stuff, whether you get DEF CON um, branded stuff or the vendors is a, an actual vendor hall. Uh, it was actually started DEF CON 4, right, Romer? Sure. Okay. <laughs> and then Romer took it over shortly after, and it became this awesome thing. But um, vendors, uh, the vendor hall, every vendor that's in there offers something to the com hacker community. Um, it may be commercial. Um, but it, they offer something to the hacker community. Trolling, trolling, trolling. I'm trolling. <laughs> He's hoping he can. The, the mic is too far away. He doesn't have an opportunity. To, to no, it's right in front of him. 
Oh, no, I was trolling uh, Shaggy. Oh, okay. Because we weren't listening to you. <laughs> Surprise. Most, I've lost half the crowd. You are droning on this and on. It's been a long fucking time of me not talking. It's, really fucking, to fucking it's a fucking me. drone village up here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, get, we're getting close. The drone village, I like that, yeah. He's been paying attention. All right, um, Tara Wheeler Van Vlack, uh, Alum. Um, she said this uh, about a week ago, two weeks ago maybe. Anyone worth uh, knowing has imposter syndrome. One of the things that's very difficult as a, uh, being in this industry is hanging out with a bunch of really smart people and feeling like you're dumb. Well, you know, that happens. You're, we're all smart, but we're all noobs too. So if you're hanging out with these guys who I am humbled to hang out with um, because of how smart they are, some of the people in the front row over here too, um, you know, it's, it's challenging, especially when they start talking about stuff, and I'm like, yep, yeah, I watched football. <laughs> um, but uh, it's all right, because just remember that if you're hanging out with those people, you're hanging out with them for a reason. You're not just the guy who pays for pizza every single time or, you know, the one who can buy beer. Uh, they're hanging out with you for a specific reason. Because you're attractive? But that because you're attractive? Yeah, it's a stupid it could be. Form. I'm the face. <laughs> All right, so we're getting uh, um, close to the end, for those of you who are excited about getting close to the end of this. Um, I am going to issue a double dog dare. I'm skipping right over the dare part. Double dog dare you. Reach out. I want you to put yourself out there, and I want you to find someone that you, uh, that you share, something that you share. I want you actually to take a minute right now Probably going to be more than a minute because there's going to be a lot of talking. Introduce yourself to your neighbors. Mike, did you say find someone to share? With. <laughs> oh, okay. With. I know that the word with came out. Introduce yourself. Come on, seriously. He's a lot more open than I thought. I see a lot of people shaking hands. Remember to fist your friends, not shake their hands. Yeah, but this is what happens between all the videos. It's very different, huh? Yeah. All right, awesome. Yeah. Now that you have uh, 2,000 new friends, this is an opportunity for you. Hey, guys, seriously. Murmur, 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 murmur. Everybody stop introducing yourself now. Everybody, Romer would like to say something. I don't know what, but actually I do want to say something. I, I, I'm mesmerized by this fucking uh, for the deaf people thing. So I, I always have to do it because essentially I'm a, I'm a 12 year old. So just give me two seconds. I just want to say shit, fuck, Satan, death, sex, drugs. Just because I love watching him fucking have to type it. It, it's just, it, it, it gives me joy and glee. <laughs> Where's Satan? Forgot Satan. Satan? Oh, yeah, I fucking forgot Satan. He's my favorite. <laughs> All right, guys, settle down. Please. Or else. In this room, after this talk, there will be a party. You will have an opportunity to talk to all your friends when that happens, okay? Cool. I'm really excited, actually, at the number of people that it took the time to, to talk and introduce yourselves. You'd be shocked at the, how good that is going to work out for you. Um, getting to know people, getting an opportunity to exchange information, to share people, or share with people. <laughs> You will have an opportunity to uh, actually expand your knowledge really quick. It's great to know that you're that open. <laughs> now, here we, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and up the ante. Do something that you have never done before. Go try one of the villages. Go to a party. I know where you were headed with Put that phrase. Put a disclaimer phrasing. on it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. If it's illegal, don't get caught at con at least. Yes, that please, okay, <laughs> I, I should, I should have been more specific. When you do something that you have never done before, please don't do things that are illegal. Or don't get caught. 
It is DEF CON. Hack the law. So, I, I, I would like to see a show of hands. People who are um, really nervous. People who have never been here before by themselves and are uncomfortable introducing themselves. Show of hands. Come on, this won't target, it's not a target. Come on, those, those elbows bend. I see a few of you. Try it. Really, seriously, reach out. At the very least, you can come up here and you can talk to the panel. Personally, I'm, you know, get scared to death to do that, so it'll be, hi, how you doing? I'm Mike. Uncomfortable silence. I was wondering what joke I said that scared you off. No, we almost had an accident. <laughs> Thank God. Prevented that, but you were fast too. All right, so I'd like to introduce you to the panel. Um, as we go down, they did not sit in the order that I have on the slide, so if they could raise their hands. Hi, Wiz. The panel moderator wasn't here at the start of this when we sat down to tell us where to go. I don't think you should blame us. <laughs> <laughs> the next one down is Jericho. Next down is Suggy. these people's real names are, you can. Um, sitting next to Suggy is Romer. Sitting next to Romer is Nikita. And definitely not the least <laughs> is Shaggy. Every single one of these people, um, since they've already mentioned it, is on the Call for Papers review board. There are uh, many other members of the Call for Papers review board. But we are happy count. to talk about that as well um, afterwards. We can t give you advice on how to submit a talk, how you know you, that your talk will immediately get de declined. Um, you know, those sort of things. It's a long list. It's a long list. Um, one of the other things that I, I brought up to start, this is our 10th anniversary. So what we are going to do here, this is the last DEF CON 101 panel. It's OK. Because next year, we're going to do the DEF CON 101 Village. There's enough. Because if there's one thing DEF CON needs, it's more villages. What was that? Because DEF CON definitely needs more villages. They're they they do need more villages. Well, the, thing, the, the, the interesting thing is there are enough um, events and things that just don't make it. But for noobs, Nikita it's just a said she did not approve a DEF CON 101 village. So. What's that? <laughs> Nikita just said oh, she yeah, did not approve Oh, yeah, we did not tell her before we put that slide village. up. Yeah. <laughs> Good we, luck with we your were, uh, Thus the dropping the bomb yes, thing. Yes. Okay, so we have a tradition, and this will be the last one. Name that noob. Having a hacker handle is something of an honor, right? Most people have one for themselves that they picked out or that they were given, like if you're um, Shaggy69435541 because there were 66,000 other Shaggies ahead of you. Um, there are lots of other, other ways to get handles, but earning a handle is, is a great way to do it. Um, I'm going to tell you a quick story, and I'm disappointed because my friend is not here, but oftentimes handles are earned by not doing something smart. So I have a friend that uh, Romer and I used to work with many years ago, um, and his handle is Wad, and he hates that handle. He tried a lot of different ways to get rid of that handle. Uh, he even tried calling him Rogue Tracker. Rogue but Tracker, <laughs> that was the fucking... But he spelled it wrong, so it was Rouge Tracker, which of course, <laughs> which of course made it worse. But he, so he got the handle first, by, um, we had to give a very important demo, and we, his job was to type in the password. And he chose to type in password, but he left the R out <laughs> twice. <laughs> so he was password for uh, quite a, quite a uh, bit of time. Um, and then we went to a club a, that had a lot of black lights. That was great, yeah. And <laughs> what kind of club was it, Mike? It was a club that involved dancing. Can, can you show us how they danced? <laughs> this is after, after the party. Um, and he had a shirt on that uh, um, we're going to go ahead and say the tide had not completely washed out of that shirt. 
and Romer asked him why he wore his wad shirt <laughs> to the club. <coughs> and he was wad ever since, and he still is wad. I say all of this, and I tell you this story because it's for fun. When somebody gets a handle, we don't call you Red Button um, because that's a really bad thing to be called. We call you Red Button because you shouldn't have pressed the Red Button. You know, um, and we are going to pick on you a little bit. It's not, we're not going to call anybody any bad names or anything like that. It, this is all in, in good fun. And you're, you're, you should plan on using your handle from here forward. So, Shaggy is our ambassador. I'm going to have Shaggy go out into the crowd, pick out 25 people. And we are going to limit it to 25 people. All right, Highways is going to go out too. That need a handle. That need a handle. That need a handle. That want a handle. And I really am encouraging people that are not used to doing this, people that are, um, might be a little bit introverted, looking for a handle. Hey, my and raised. hopefully it'll happen quicker than this. Does, does this signify that the droning of Mike is coming to an end? Yes. Fucking A. Drone village almost over. Like, just because we have two and a half hours for this doesn't mean you may need to make it feel like an eternity. <laughs> okay. You know, while, while they're uh, identifying some people to come up here, I'm actually going to ask the panel a couple of questions because this is what I was supposed to do in the first place. So thank God this is the last one. Hey, Nikita. Oh, shit. Nikita, what's your favorite part of DEF CON? Uh, my favorite part of DEF CON actually is, believe it or not, uh, the consistency. And that may seem a little unusual because it is such a chaotic event, but to me the chaos is consistency. And the ability to see all of the people that I love the most every year, I can count on that. And I can count on this show and I can count on the energy. And all these people raising their hands and being excited and just wanting to be at DEF CON and that's what I love the most, the consistency of the show. I love that the most. I think that's awesome. Thing. Hey, Romer, what's your favorite part of DEF CON? Flight home. <laughs> I really drink a lot. I don't have that many memories of <laughs> DEF CON. <laughs> that is um, that is true, but um, no, I don't know. I mean, that's really difficult. This is uh, the 19th DEF CON that I've been to, so th there's a lot of memories over that time. There's a lot of good ones, and there's a lot of really shitty ones, too. Um, but I would, I, would, I would say the... Um, okay. Yeah. I, I, I guess probably if I had to, like, nail it down, uh, the, my, probably my favorite memory is, was... Um, it, it's, like, selfish, which makes sense, because I'm severely egotistical and narcissistic. <laughs> but um, I, I would say probably doing the, the Goon Band at 303 party. Also, I did mention it, but I'll mention it again. Um, if you're not one of the lucky people in this line, come see us afterwards. We're happy to listen to you. We're happy to talk to you. We're happy to pick on you and give you a handle. Um, there are some prizes, so you might want to consider it. Again, I'll put it out there for people that have coins that want to exchange. You might find that one of the noobs in this line has a coin. Not everybody will. We're going to see how good the stories are to make a determination. Uh, I'm so, sorry. Hold on. Sorry. Right. sorry to interrupt you one more quick second. I'm starting to feel really bad because I, I'm not bullshit. I'm totally mesmerized by that thing. But every time I look at it, Nikita thinks I'm gazing into her eyes. <laughs> she's, she keeps like leaning back. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> hey, Shaq, can you help these people come on up? Just like, like carry them up. No, no, carry them up. <laughs> Just Piggyback let, ride. One at a time, bring them up. Okay. So guys, here's, here's how this is going to go. What we're looking for from you, and, and the, the uh, panel is going to ask also, what we're looking for you, from you is things that people don't know about you. Tell us some, some uh, information. I, I don't want to know if you have more than two cats um, or you know, if your favorite color is purple. Those are the things that uh, everybody knows. Tell us something that people don't know, something that we're going to be able to try and identify, something that's going to make you stand out and make you unique. And I am happy that you are the first person to come on up.
I want your secrets. <laughs> All right, go ahead and introduce yourself to, to the audience. Hey, we got a real moderator. <laughs> and the, as far as what? What's your name? Oh, Nicole. And where are you from, Nicole? Florida. Okay. And <laughs> Nicole, what brought you to DEF CON? Uh, my husband. <laughs> he's, been, he's, he's come this here a lot, so I just came to see it. What are you most looking forward to doing at DEF CON this year? Same answer. This? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I, I do find it very fascinating. I want to learn whatever I can in these few days. <laughs> All right, so tell us something that people don't know about you. Hmm. How about that I just came up with my own alphabet just for fun? Sample? <laughs> Sample? We need to hear it. Oh, no, it's, sing it. It's written. It's not. <laughs> oh, it's not spoken? No. Oh, maybe it should be. Yeah. Maybe that should be made up shit. shit. Could be. <laughs> okay, so tell us something else. Tell us something embarrassing. Come on. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see here. You think well on your feet. Not really. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, as far as what people wouldn't know, it's, I'm kind of... Yeah. I, um... We, we, we know your handle. Huh? We know your handle already. It's okay. improv. <laughs> yeah. One for you, one for your husband. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Hey, everybody, say hi to improv. Hi. All right, next. Next victim. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, introduce yourself. What's your name? Where are you from? ASL. Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, I'm Andy. I'm originally from uh, Pittsburgh, but I live in uh, Seattle now. Okay. Yeah. So, what's next? Woo! <laughs> Represent. Yeah. All right, so tell us something uh, about you, yourself that people don't know. Hmm. All right, so I'm pretty big into sports, but the biggest sports-related injury I've ever had was I got smashed between two golf carts. <laughs> it was pretty bad. What are your favorite sport, what's your favorite sport team and least favorite sport team? Ooh, favorite sport team, probably the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh. Five-time Stanley Cup champion. Uh, least favorite sports team. Probably. Oh no, no, no! As opposed to six-time Super Bowl champion Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, thank you, thank you for that. I forgot. Um, least favorite probably Philadelphia Flyers. Okay. I think okay. Scary. Get some claps for that. I'm good with that. A hockey fan. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what do, brings you to DefCon? Um, I asked my job to send me here, and they were like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Are you fucking serious?" <laughs> why did you ask him and why did you want to come um i think you know just the overall experience i've heard so much through the grapevine from friends who've come to this conference before and just the overall experience and just wanted to dive in kind of take it all in do you actually wait wait you want to dive in and take it all in that's that's what i heard oh. you say all right Crazy. caught on to that one i was <laughs> Um, do you actually hmm? do uh, computer security? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, my background is in information security. Okay. Um, all right, all right, all right. Oh, boy. Uh, puck is your handle. Puck? Yeah. Puck. I'll take it. I was down so here saying the same thing and pass it down to Seriously? you. Seriously? Nice. Nikita had the same idea. What? Puck. Jamie? Oh, no, puck. puck yeah. Oh, nice. Thank all right, you. hold on a second. Got a couple of these for you. Come on, next. Thanks. Or we lose it. Hey, Puck. Hi, Puck. All right. 
You know the routine. Cool. My name is Max Doolin. I'm a student at Gonzaga University, and I cannot believe we got, they are giving us funding to come to this conference right now. This how is ridiculous. Stupid, huh? Yeah, how stupid is that? Gosh. Um, I'm a skier sports guy. I play competitive dodgeball and competitive oh, wiffle ball. It's a so weird we, one. We can see you on the Ocho. Yes, ESPN 8, the Ocho. Um, I got a bad injury. I was coaching uh, Babe Ruth baseball, and I took a ball to the face and cracked a bunch of my eye socket. It was pretty nasty. If you want to see, I can show you pictures later. It's pretty funny. Tell us an embarrassing story. I thought that was an embarrassing no. story. No, but getting, getting hit in the okay. face with Okay. Uh, that's what he does. We've all got hit in the face with lots of balls, all right? So... I have got dumped on Valen the day before Valentine's Day, not once, but twice. I bought chocolates both times. Not a good thing. <laughs> You're right, it is, yeah. Strikeout? I like it. Strikeout! Hey, strikeout, hold on. See me after this. All right, cool. Next victim. I did not want that to be your embarrassing story. <laughs> okay. Hi. I am Eva from New York. Anyone else? A little bit closer. My name is Ava and I'm from New York. State or city? City. Okay. <laughs> State is very different. We're the hotel down the road. All right, so um, what brings you here? I just graduated college, so I wanted to learn more about security. What did you get a degree in? Computer science. Where'd you go? Uh, Brooklyn College. CUNY, anyone? <laughs> no one's here from New York. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's uh, learn a little bit more about you. Tell, I do want to know what your favorite color is and why. I love blue. We have we have a sample here. Yeah. This one? I'm all blue today. I love okay. blue. It's very calming. Wow. Yeah, you're clearly quite agitated, so. What? I'm what? Clearly quite agitated. So you seem very like that. Yeah, very calming. Can we be friends? <laughs> Who said that? Nikita. Yes. Hi. 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 I think I seen you somewhere. That's cool. <laughs> Actually, on I'm a, around. On a poster at the uh, post office? <laughs> Was it on a panel on a stage? Okay. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Hmm, meow. She's kind of, she's like, she's like beige. Um, oh, no. Please don't. No, 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 not beige, beige. not beige. Mellow? Yeah. Mellow? No. Mm. Mellow. We're going to call you Mellow. Yeah. I opted for Blue York. Yeah. He said Blue York. Oh, Blue York. Oh, that's, that's a good better. one. All right, that's Blue better. York. Okay. Blue York. There it is. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Blue say York. hi to Blue York. Okay. Next. Oh, this guy is full of energy. All right, you know the routine. Yeah, hey, I'm Jeffrey. Uh, I go by Jay Blend. Uh, I can out nerd stop, anybody stop. in this room. Wait, wait, wait. You, you go by what? Jay Blend. Wait, wait. Why, why, yeah, get why'd you cut? Yeah, stage. get off the stage. Well, but I'm looking to <laughs> revamp that. But uh, I can out nerd anybody about Japanese. And uh, <laughs> the last time I was on stage in front of this many people, I had I just learned salsa in Cuba, and I fell off the stage because there was rum involved. Is there yes, rum involved? Yes, I can involved anybody now? about Japan. <laughs> do Do you have rum now? Like that? I mean, to share. I don't yeah. have any rum right now, but I, uh, I right. trained for this event uh, growing up near New Orleans because uh, I, I uh, you know, we start drinking early. Yeah, I, I, I'm from 504 too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. You got a handle. Yeah, you got a handle. All right. But, you yeah, you got redoing, a handle. Redoing okay. the handle. Not redoing your handle. <laughs> We're not redoing your handle. One of the rules was, if you have a handle, 
don't come up on stage, okay? So you got any of you guys have handles? Thanks anyway. Hold on, Jay Blaine. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm still gonna time. give you parting gifts. Thanks. My boss called me Jay Blaine because he couldn't say my name. Okay. Thanks. It's done. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Great story. <laughs> well, what chapter does you STFP? Okay. Salutations. My name is Dan. I'm from Detroit. I'm sorry. Yeah. Me too. Okay, Dan. So, uh, you know, tell us something about yourself. Go on. Chop, chop. This is a lightning round. Uh, well, embarrassing or not embarrassing? Yes, yes. embarrassing. Oh, embarrassing, all right. Uh, about a month ago, I went to a Slayer concert and entered my first mosh pit and got knocked on my ass, lost my glasses, and uh, didn't purchase any more or any new glasses for like three weeks until a Marilyn Manson concert and uh, found a backup pair of glasses and lost the, had the exact same thing happen, lost my glasses again. Um, now I just got these yesterday for the conference to make sure I can see, and they're too small and my ears hurt. But... <laughs> about it all right this panel fuck marry kill fuck, fuck marry kill, kill. Ooh. You, you tell us yeah this panel uh wait, there's four of you can you get no, multiple no, no, no. Just, right just no, pick three all, all, three all, 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 all of them but just pick three and fuck marry kill who would you fuck who would you marry who would you kill hmm shit <laughs> all right i like your beard so i'll, I'll fuck this guy uh, <laughs> We can, we can rub beards together. It might be pretty awesome. Uh, we can make a heart on me too. You probably make the most money, so I'll marry you. And uh, <laughs> kill, you asked me to do this, so I'll kill you. All right, there we go. All right. Now you're back in Twitter. <laughs> when drowning you. What the fuck is that even for? Slide down. We were gonna call him dinner. <laughs> you know? Hmm? Mosh pit? DD crap? There you go. Huh? We don't have that much time. Okay, DD crack? DD crack. DD crack. DD All right. Dan from Detroit, crack your glasses. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I want you to do me a favor. Everybody, please say hi to DD crack. See me after. Thank you. Okay. See you after. Yeah. Come All on. right. I know. I know. Hey everyone. Well, I need your help. My name's Thai. Looking forward to handle it. People actually can pronounce, and I don't have to explain my name every time. Uh, I'm from Vegas. Any locals here? No. No. Besides the people I came with. Any locals? No. Okay. Oh, hey. Tell us something funny about yourself. Funny. funny. I, I came with something embarrassing, not something funny. All right, well, tell us something embarrassing. I guess go. So, I, I don't know if this is particularly embarrassing, but I don't talk about myself a lot. So, I guess one thing that people don't know about me is that I really like cheese. I'm also known for taking a lot of notes, and I'm very particular. So, I actually have a notebook where I document the cheese that I've eaten, and I have a personal rating system for it. <laughs> Listen, noob. <laughs> Get into spreadsheets, okay? That's where it's at. <laughs> no. I, you have to bring the notebook to take oh, notes while you're eating the cheese, and then you go back home and you enter it in the spreadsheet. Okay, yeah. The last spreadsheet I created was about tracking jalapeno poppers in Denver and which restaurants had the best. Okay, I'm not. A, that's amazing. I'm not alone then. All right. What's your favorite cheese? It's kind of cheese. lame, but uh, pepper Good jack. Cheese. What's your least favorite? I've never met a cheese I don't like. Really? Try harder. I, I guess I don't. Uh, I don't know. I seriously, I've never had cheese I don't like. From Munda? Huh? From Munda? From Munda? From Munda? Yeah, from Munda. Yeah, no, no, you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, everybody, say hi to From Munda. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, lightning round. Come on. By the way, you guys can help us when we're naming them. If you have ideas, shout them out, all right? Hello, everyone. My name is Craig. I'm from Washington, D.C. Were you born in Washington, D.C.? No. Uh, my most embarrassing thing, 
I cut a, I used to work for the UN, and I cut a fiber line and knocked out 750,000 users. Nice. Central Africa. And the president of World Bank wanted my resignation. Damn. <laughs> yeah, we like that one. Everybody say hi to Blackout. <laughs>